Universal Studios has been making movies on this very location for over 100 years. And in that time, we have gone on to produce some of the most memorable film moments in the history of Hollywood. Oh yeah, thanks so much everyone. Thank you, thank you Mike. From the very beginning, the basic concept of the filmmaking process has always remained the same. To make you, the audience, believe that everything that you see is real. That's right, now today's filmmakers have more tools than ever before. High-tech cameras, super fast computers, but they still rely on a category of effects that are so distinctive they're known as special. And the earliest form of special effects are called practical effects, which are effects that are shot on set in front of the camera. And our first example of practical effects is models. First, 1933 film, The Mummy, made use of miniature effects, including scale models, like that one from its opening. And you can tell that's model, because if you look closely, the real pyramids do not say The Mummy. <laughs> Universal relaunched The Mummy, and believe it or not, that sphinx that you see there is this sphinx model that you see here. This is the actual model that was used in the making of that film. And the attention to detail, incredible, the hieroglyphics, scaffolding. I think Mike would agree that models are still a great way to fool the camera. Absolutely. Another technique which also fools the camera is the glass mat. The terrifying film of the birds, the brilliant Alfred Hitchcock, had map pages created to achieve the eerie vision he wanted for the town of Bodega Bay. Take a look at our side screens. Now in that literal bird's eye view of the town, only the parking lot and fire were real. Everything else was painted on glass to create a mat, then dropped in front of the lens. They then incorporated the footage of the birds to complete the effect. All very cool stuff! So we showed two examples of practical effects. Models and the glass mat. Right, but there is another type of practical effect. And this one involves performers, not just props. Practical studs. Because we're wearing nice pants. <laughs> you might not recognize their faces, but you've definitely seen their work in numerous film and television productions. And a lot of times, these guys, they'll work as stunt doubles for some of your favorite stars. Now, right here on this side, we have Crystal Mark. This is Nate Mitchell and our stunt coordinator, Skylar Manette. Welcome, guys. Now, uh, Skylar, what guy here? Would you say that almost always stunt performers like yourself will double for actors and actresses during fight scenes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. See, some of the actors don't like any kicks in the face. Kicked in the face, like, yeah, like this. <laughs> oh. oh, Nate, you okay, buddy? Okay. <laughs> now, when it comes to staging a fight scene, the art of illusion is incredibly important. Everything has to be as realistic as possible to fool the camera without anyone getting injured. And it's up to a stunt team to make all of that look believable. We set the scene for them. We have an exterior, dark alley, dead of nights, and a couple of very nefarious characters are lurking about. Ready? Bones. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at your side screens. We're going to show you a split screen. 
On one side, you're going to see the hit comedy, Identity Thief, with Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy. On the other side, you're going to see Universal's Foley artists, hard at work. <coughs> now, I have a plan. <laughs> that's going to make the sound of crashes. We also have some sneakers. Those will sound like running. Over here we've got two rings of paper and a cutting board. Those will sound like bodies are hitting the ground. Over here we've got some boxing gloves. Those will sound like the punch in the throat and the slaps on the face. Then down here at the end we've got a cowbell. This will be used for the moment where the panini maker hits Melissa McCarthy in the back of the shoulder. And then this is where we get crazy. Really use your imaginations here because these handcuffs are going to sound like handcuffs. Maybe <laughs> that's you. All right, you ready to do this? You'll be watching this monitor over here. Let me make sure you can see that. All right, good for you guys. Awesome. If you guys are ready, up in the booth. Let's roll some out. Speed and action.
you have been wonderful so far. That is the good news. The bad news, Mike? I'm sad. What about you? Thank you. Uh, all right, Monique, let's get this lab put off you here. Thank you. I'll, be, I'll just be right back. Right. Okay. Now, I did promise you a picture with the monsters because you were such a good sport. So, if you were standing right here, let's get some lights on you. I'm going to count to three. On three, give you a really good scream because that'll make a great picture. I'm going to get you back to your seat, okay? On three. Ready, Monique? All right, here we go. All the lighting is perfect. Ready? One, two, three. Picture! Please never attempt anything like this at home. 
or on your own. Now for this one, your crystal will attempt to burn for anywhere of up to 10 seconds long. Guys, can you please dim the lights and set the clocks to zero? And at this point, I do need to ask you to please remain seated for the duration of this stunt. Skylar, whenever you and your team are ready. Hey, you ready? Ready. Crystal, you ready? Ready. Ready and action! Fire! Lift! Real. Hi. Oh. Oh, 